Yeah, someone's jealous. You could be dealing with um, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Maybe they're, um, they're all up in their emotions here. They're very emotional. I feel like there's a door that's closing on them and you're getting a bunch of blessings. You know, when the wheel turns, I feel like doors open up on one side and close on another. And I feel like everything is closing on this person and you're about to get blessed or you're already getting blessed. Yeah, they, this person feels very stuck. You could be dealing with a Pisces, a Libra. Oh, they could be um, going through ooh, some really bad um, legal issue here. This person could end up going to jail or prison. Um, oh, yeah, the door's being closed on this person. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy, Libra. And you're getting blessed. I cannot make it up. You know, this person could be going through a divorce right now. And they could end up losing, like, all of their abundance. Okay? They're so jealous. You're free. You're being blessed. You've got a happy home life. Um, happy children. Making good money. A good job. Good business. Okay? Okay? The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, so I feel like you're very abundant. You know, the queen of pentacles, she's very stable, um, very financially stable, maybe even financially independent. You could have your own business, and you, it could be a huge success. And this person is watching it, and they're in some bad legal mess, okay? Um... Yeah, and there's, look, there's a lot of gossip, too. This person could have been involved with, um, like, three other feminine energies, right, that have gotten them into some kind of really bad financial mess. This person could be trying to keep, like, if they have a business of their own, um, they could be trying to keep it afloat. They've got a lot of financial burdens right now. There's three feminine energies around this person that are burdening them. And they're a king of pentacles. So this is usually somebody who is very um, financially secure. Okay, very grounded, very stable, financially stable. And they're not anymore. They've like lost all their money. They've lost, uh, they could be losing a business here, barely keeping it afloat. There's other people um, that they're kind of providing for, or maybe these are even employees that they may need to let go of because I feel like, I don't know, they're, it's like they're running their business into the ground or they're, they're making this person so financially burdened. Yeah, they've got some kind of legal issue here. They're being manipulated and they know that. And they're looking at you. This person doesn't stop watching you. They're watching you succeed. They're seeing that you, they should have chosen you to be with. You're the one for them. Okay, wifey energy here. They're seeing you as their match. Now this person is starting to realize this connection. And there's someone else who's getting in the way. I, I feel like um, they're, they may have chosen this queen of swords over you. They needed to make a decision here, and now they're out of time. So they chose this Queen of Swords over you, and I feel like this Queen of Swords could be the one who's running their business into the ground. Okay, she's, she's kind of mean, harsh, cold. She could be very nasty with their clients or um, nasty with, with everybody. I, I feel like she, she's very jealous of you. Okay, I feel like she's one of these feminine energies around this person that are manipulating them, keeping this person away from you. They're seeing this now. They're seeing that whoever they're around is just like bringing this person down. Their finances, their business. Okay. This person could be having some back issues. 
Yeah, and here I feel like spirit was trying to lead this person to make a better choice when it came to love. They've been trying to tell this person who their true connection is, and it's you. And they're seeing all of this, okay? Now this person is, they're kind of kicking themselves. I don't, honestly, I don't even know if they're strong enough to kick themselves. They're so heavily burdened. They're starting to get angry with the people around them. There could be a lot of bill collectors showing up at their door or like blowing up their phone as well. Um, this person's finances are crashing. Their business is crumbling. Their home life is horrible because they're constantly being questioned and monitored by this queen of swords. Um, I feel like this person's going to have to walk away from a lot of people here, okay? They're going to have to kind of, I feel like in order for this person to get their life back on track, they're going to have to walk away from some feminine energies that are manipulating them, using them. This person may even find out that this, um, I'm getting this Queen of Swords could have cheated on this person as well, and they could be hiding that from this person. There's been a lot of spiritual attacks at your way. Look at, I feel like, you know what? This feminine energy, this is what this masculine is finding out. They're finding out that this feminine, I feel like she's been sending you some really dark spell work to try to keep you stuck. She's also been um, spreading a lot of rumors and lies and gossip about you behind your back, slandering your name, dragging your reputation through the mud. This has all been directed at you. Yep, trying to keep this connection apart. I feel like this masculine is realizing here. Um, I feel like they started a third party. They, they um, started some kind of one-sided competition this this karmic this queen of swords she's been competing with you and she can't really compete with what you've got here um she can't compete with who you are and i feel like she this masculine is realizing here that they um uh, this whole thing has gotten out of control it is it's just out of control they're realizing how much um how much drama and chaos you had to take you've had to endure so much and i feel like you were innocent and they've known it this whole time and i feel like they may even be defending you at this point okay with this uh with the seven of wands here and the five of swords i feel like they may even be defending you because they know now this karmic has been sending a lot of uh, spell work to you like a lot she could have she could have done or paid for up to eight different spells and it's all being directed towards you now this masculine now they want to come back in now they want to change their mind they want to change their mind now now they know it's you that they want but see you've had to endure way too much way too much yeah see you're turning your back on this whole situation and you're taking your cup of love and you're leaving this person's life so you could very well be avoiding this this whole situation here i feel like you're being spiritually led to keep moving you could be a cancer pisces scorpio you could be a taurus virgo capricorn maybe a gemini the person that you've been dealing with could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on Virgo, Virgo, heavy on Capricorn. Um, this karmic could possibly be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Capricorn. Yeah, see, now this person sees you as their wish. Yeah, now they're wishing for the Empress. Oh, this person's really kicking themselves for this. Because now they can't take their eyes off of you. They want to change their mind. They want to make a, a um, this is them making a decision, a choice when it comes to love. And you're the one that they want. This could be your twin flame. 
but now their life is literally being kind of um, wiped out, destroyed. Um, their, their abundance, their job, their business. I feel like they're about to lose their business. They're trying really hard to hang on to it. Um, their money is going to be gone, right? And if they're looking at getting a divorce, this karmic is going to, she's going to try to get anything she can from them. Like she could very well make this person like bankrupt. Yeah, you don't want to have anything to do with this situation anymore because you're already super happy. Okay, you're an empress energy. You're attracting new things to you. They're coming in now. I feel like all of these cups are blessings that are coming to you. You know, money's coming to you, success. All right, this, there's been no communication, so I feel like you're making a decision here. You're realizing you're good all on your own. You don't need this person in your life. You don't need the drama. You don't need this karmic individual continuously sending you bad juju. You know, she can have this person. I feel like that's what you're saying. You can have them. You're already happy in the Ten of Cups. And this person is wishing for you. Okay, but this is just a wish. This is wish fulfillment. You're already living the dream. You're already um, happy and in the Ten of Cups energy. They're in the Nine of Cups. You know what they need in order to get the Ten of Cups? They need one more cup. The one that's in your hand. The one that's in your hand. And spirit is telling you, nope, you know what? Just keep moving forward. Just keep moving forward with that cup of love. Keep your back turned. Don't turn around, right? <laughs> right? Um, don't look back. Just keep moving forward. All this person is going to be left with is the wish, the dream, as they watch you walk, walk out of their life. Um, sp I feel like spirit is telling you to... Um, Kind of protect yourself, you know. Um, don't engage with any petty fights, arguments. I feel like the karmic, she's she's kind of on a war path right now. Wanting to see you stuck. Somebody could also be trying to get you mixed up in some kind of legal case. Someone could possibly, this karmic could be searching for information on you that uh, trying to get you put in jail for something like for real she's trying to do that to them i feel like this masculine is getting some legal issues and she's trying to find something out about you that'll get you into some kind of legal mess so spirit is like just don't get involved don't look back keep moving forward into your wish fulfillment this masculine is coming forward but it's taken them too long they're making a decision here. They'd rather have you now. Now they want you. After everything that you've been put through. You, you kidding me? So they're coming back in. Okay. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is the slowest moving night in the deck. Okay. And I feel like they don't have a lot left to offer. They're feeling like, um, I mean, once they make you this offer, they're only going to have two pentacles. This is somebody who's literally ending up broke, um, maybe realizing they have nothing to offer, but they're hopeful that you'll have an open heart for them. They may even want to come and move into your home with you because they're going to have to leave these people behind and they've got no money, which means they may not have a place to go. Okay, but they're about to approach. I kind of get the sense that this person is coming in all wrong. I'm kind of getting the feeling that they're going to be flirtatious. They're going to um, they're going to want to be passionate with you. Okay, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. And I feel like that's just going to make you want to cut them off even more. You know, this may even turn into an argument, a fight, okay? 
Um, yeah, and you're the holy grail cup of love here. I feel like you deserve better than that. You deserve better than what these people put you through. You were done dirty here for a long time. This is stuff that could have been going on and con continuing for year after year after year. Just constant um, spiritual attacks, constant jealous energy thrown your way. You know, uh, you, you ha you, I feel like you waited in silence for this masculine to maybe come back around or make a better choice in love, and they never did. So you had to deal with being left behind as well at the same time. Like, what was done to you was so wrong on so many different levels, and now this person wants to come back in, and they're going to be, like, coming in in page energy, being all kinds of flirtatious. I feel like this person really they're going to they're going to mess up this opportunity so bad. I they already did. I feel like they're um they're going to blow this shot, man. Yeah, this is somebody who's betrayed you after all this time. They want to come in with this wand after all this time years of betrayal. Yeah, you've got your boundaries up against this person. They're not going to be able to get you back, I don't think. Especially they're, since they're coming in in page and night energy, okay? But this person, seriously, they're going to have, like, nothing left. Their finances are dwindled down to barely anything. Their business is starting to crumble. Um, yeah, I'm seeing legal stuff. What is this um, Eight of Swords? Because I feel like this karmic is trying to also get you in some legal mess or start. She's trying to find out some things about you, I feel. Yeah. Um, she may even want to approach you and see you face to face. Or she could be talking to other people about you as well. She's mad. She's big mad. They could be going through a divorce at this time. But she knows that your person wants you, and, I mean, she's just, she's just a harsh, bitter, cruel, cold person, okay? Yeah, I'm kind of getting the sense that she's, she could be paying some kind of investigator to find information out about you. She's getting some authority figure involved in this. Okay, I, I feel like she's paying someone, though. She's paying someone to find information out about you, collective. Okay, because she wants you, she wants you going down. Um, yeah, and she wants to try to get away with it. So she's having someone else do her dirty work for her. Okay. She's paying some, it feels like a private investigator. This is an authority figure. Someone may approach you, okay? That's this person here, this um, King of Swords energy. I feel like this is somebody that this karmic has paid to get some dirt on you that will put you in jail. That's what I'm feeling like. Okay, and when they can't find anything out, they may try to approach you in a, like a fake way. Like this could very well be somebody who is accepting money to even um, give you a love offer to try to get um, on the inside, like a mole, right? She's paying a mole to try to um, get with you to get information about you. Yeah, to cause a tower in your life. That's what she's doing. She's paying someone to come in, find out information about you, infiltrate your home, your, your love, your family, anything to create a tower moment for you. And possibly even, hopefully, she's hoping she can find something out about you that will put you in jail. Okay, that's what she's hoping for. And I feel like she paid someone else to do this, okay? So she's starting some kind of, this is all fake. So use your discernment with everyone who approaches you, okay? 
maybe even do some research of your own. Here's the thing, they're not going to find anything. Look, they can search and search and search. That's what this is. They're looking, they're looking, they're looking. They can't find anything that you've done wrong. You're innocent. That's what this is. Whoever they paid can't find anything out about you. So they're deciding to come in and try to get to know you up close and personal so that maybe they can find something out. If you let them, like if you let this person in your inner circle of friends or like if you accept a date with this person, they could get in your home and start sifting through your paperwork and stuff when you're like, I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's a plan. This karmic could have, that's what this could have been. This karmic um, could have taken money out of this masculine's account to pay for this because I feel like she's, she spent a lot of money on this. Where is that Ace of Pentacles? She spent a lot of money on this. Okay? Trying to find out any kind of information that they can about you. Looking, looking, this person's looking and searching, but they can't find anything that you've done wrong. Okay? So now she's sending this person in. This, they're trying a different approach. This is a new tactic. But this person got paid a lot of money to try to find something out about you that'll put you in jail. And I feel like all of this money used to be this King of Pentacles money. You know, and usually the King of Pentacles is holding like a pentacle on their, on their lap, right? Um, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing them sitting in the throne trying to hold things down, but she took all their money. Now this person is broke because of it. So she, she took this masculine's money, not just to pay for spell work, but to also hire somebody to try to dig up dirt on you that'll send you to jail. That's what she's done. Because she wants a tower moment for you. She wants you to be brought down. Okay? Because this masculine, I kid you not, this masculine is choosing a different person. They, they're, they're changing their mind. They want to choose you now. And she's jealous. She's upset. She wants revenge. And she's paying to get it. Now, I still feel like you're innocent. This with the Six of Cups coming out, you haven't done anything wrong here. This is innocence. This is innocence. She may even be, I don't know, people could be watching your children as well. Okay? She just wants some kind of revenge on you and your family, I feel. These people are crazy. The, the things that they're resorting to, you know, these are acts of desperation to pay this much money for information on you. Okay, the desperate, yeah, look, see, so you've got a stalker. So this is, I feel like this is that private investigator here watching you, studying you, observing you, maybe even trying to look through, um, I don't know, old stuff on social media. They could be trying to figure out how much money you make, how you're making your money. They're trying to find any kind of mistake that you've made that they can, that would put you in jail. Anything. They're watching you really close. You could have like a platform, right? Say you have some kind of public platform and they're watching you there, hoping that you'll trip up so that they can take you to jail, so that they can send you to jail. You've got, uh, and they paid for this. I'm telling you, they paid good money for this. Now, this masculine, I feel like they're finding all of this out. They're finding it all out, okay? And they're upset. They, they're, they're angry. They feel fooled and duped, okay? And now all they want is you, but I feel like spirit is moving you forward. Spirit's trying to keep you out of harm's way, all right? And just know... Um, someone is trying to get info on you, all right? 
I feel like it's someone you don't know. It seems like somebody who does this for a living. It seems like an authority figure, a private investigator. And they're following, they could be following you. Okay, they could be trying to learn your schedule. They could be um, like watching your children. They're trying to find anything on you that's going to get you in trouble. Yeah, look, and this, yep, it's all the truth. It's all the truth. Um, and this masculine, um, they know they missed their opportunity here at greatness. They had a holy grail couple love, and they were um, more focused on these three, these three cups, these three feminine energies that led them astray, depleted their resources, ruined their business, left them in near bankruptcy, okay, taking their money to try to find ways to bring you down. It, it's crazy. It's a, this is so messy, you guys. It's such a flipping mess. And now the whole situation has gotten out of control. This karmic has gotten out of control. So look at all of this money that she's paid to this person. All this money was this masculine's money. All this money was this masculine's money. And she's giving it to this authority figure, this private investigator, who's trying to find things to ruin you. Okay? The things these people do is just, yeah, a lot of money. Yeah, but here's the thing. I feel like they're, they're looking into your finances. You could be making a lot of money right now. I feel like you're in the Ten of Pentacles. You're in the Ten of Cups. And they're thinking there's got to be something about how they make their money that's illegal enough for us to get them put in jail right because that's where they want you where is it that's where they want you they want you in jail they want to bring down your tower they want to bring down everything that you've created for yourself but i feel like your ten of pentacles is solid the, honestly this private if a private investigator can't find anything wrong on you you're innocent and this is stable. This is here to stay. But I feel like that's what they're looking into. They're looking into your business. They're looking into your job, how much money you make. They may, may be even trying to figure out, are you paying your taxes? Things like that. Anything they can turn you in for is what they're searching for. And I feel like they're... Um, they're wanting to stop you from making all of this money and from being a success. They want to, they, uh, this karmic already knows that this masculine wants you. She can't stop them from coming towards you anymore. So she's trying to ruin everything that you've got. Okay? Just so you know, it's a big warning. So maybe beef up security or something like that on your stuff. Definitely don't just let anyone into your home. Um, if anyone comes towards you wanting to date you, I feel like they're coming to you fake, okay? In this Knight of Cups energy, um, to me, that's like empty promises. That's fakeness, all right? Because they can't find anything out staying away from you and watching you from afar, so they feel like they've got to infiltrate. They've got to get close, right? They've got to get closer to you to get the information they've been paid to get. I'm telling you, so this you're about to meet somebody, okay, uh, but this is someone you can't trust. This is an enemy, okay, or this is someone working for your enemy. They, their motives are um, really bad, and they're not coming in for love. They're going to be coming in like they're your knight in shining armor collective with these beautiful promises you know, but it's, it's all fake. It's all fake. Okay. This is such a mess. I can't even believe this is why spirit could be even leading you to make some kind of house. Sorry, collective spirit could be urging you to maybe relocate. Okay. Make a house move just to get you 
out of that area. So you could even already be thinking about moving to a different state, a different country, like for real. Um, because, you know, at this point, you're, you're protected, but you're still kind of in harm's way. All right. So, um, yeah, you may be guided to move right now. Or just stay away from these people. Definitely use your intuition. Use your discernment with anyone who approaches you right now. Anybody, okay? If you're getting text messages, any kind of message in writing, don't answer it. Don't answer it unless you know for sure who it is that you're talking to. I wouldn't actually put anything in writing right now. Like for real. Not with all this crap going on. And this is, this is someone out of control. But this person has already, this authority figure, whoever this is, private investigator, they've already been paid to get this information one way or another. Okay, so um, they are about to approach you and pretending that they want to court you. And that's not the case. They just want info. Don't let this person in your home. Do not let this person in your home. Heck, I wouldn't even talk to this person, but you're, you're going to have to use your intuition, okay? Ooh, anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this reading. Um, I hope this helps. I do. Um, let me call out your signs again. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy on water, okay? Um, yeah, and Earth. You could be a Leo. You could be a Taurus, Aries. Maybe a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. Yeah, take it how it resonates, you guys. But do not let this person in your home. And just um, use your discernment and keep moving forward. All right. <laughs> 